today we're gonna make some sausage and pancetta broccoli rabe. Uh, I got a pot on the stove, I'm gonna get that started. We're gonna chop up the uh, broccoli rabe and get that blanching for a couple minutes. Um, then we're gonna chop up the pancetta and the sausage, get that in the, in the uh, saute pan and we're gonna make some pasta with it and we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna chop up the broccoli rabe. And you can go any size you want. Uh, the smaller the better. Uh, when you're gonna mix it all together. And I try not to use the stalks too much because then it kind of gets too chunky. But so we're gonna chop that up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw these in the pot, blanch them, kind of get rid of that bitter flavor. So once you get that all chopped up and put in the pot, let that come up to a boil. And like I said, that's just to get the bitter flavor off of the broccoli rub. Put this aside. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the casing off of the sausage and we're gonna chop up the pancetta and the sausage. And then we're gonna put that in the saute pan some oil, some garlic, salt and pepper, and get that to uh, brown up. And then we're gonna make the pasta in the same water that we're doing the broccoli rabe in, kind of get that flavor. Um, it'll help not only that, but it's less dishes as well. So I'm gonna get all that set up and uh, start chopping up the sausage. Sausage in. Pancetta in. You can cut your pancetta however you want. Um, like a little bit more chunk to it because this is going to be the whole meal. So if you have it, you know, that if that is a side, you want to, you know, another meat or something. So you can cut it as big or small you want. So I have these like little quarter inch fries basically. Okay, so we're gonna take the broccoli rob out. And put it aside. Try to get as much water out as you can. As you can see, we got the meat in there. Start to brown that down. All right. 
there. I got the red cooked pasta in there as well. Keep the meat going. Then once you get your meat browned down, we're gonna throw the rab in here and season it. Then we'll throw the pasta in. And then all those flavors you're gonna cook together. And then after all the pasta is done, then we're gonna throw it all together in the saute pan. And really let those flavors steep in. Pepper. that water hot. Huh? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little white wine to this. It's gonna help pull the flavors off the bottom of the pan. And it also help the flavors mix together with the sausage and everything. So this is getting close. So now, we're gonna get that pot back going for the pasta. We're gonna drop the pasta. You can use any type of pasta you want, but I thought these look kind of cool, so give those a shot. Sausage is real close. That's still that. Still got that on medium. Mix the pasta in. Get that going. We're gonna add a little oil to that so it don't get sticky. And a little more salt. back in to our meat here. We're gonna let that all steep together. And while we're letting that do that, kind of spread it around so that the meat flavor gets into the rub. While we're doing that, letting that, letting that do its thing, we're gonna come over here I'm gonna graze some Parmesan. Okay, so we got the Parmesan chopped up or mint, shredded up. Uh, I'm gonna give the pasta a stir a little bit. Make sure it doesn't get stuck. Mix the meat up a little more. Get those flavors really bouncing around in there. is you take a little lemon zest it'll really help get rid of some of that bitterness of the broccoli rabe it's very good for you and it tastes amazing
right, so we're just going to wait a few more minutes, get this going, and then uh, we're going to mix the pasta in, put the Parmesan, a little more seasoning, test it out, and we'll be good to go. Okay, guys, the pasta is almost done. We're going to add a little bit of crushed red chili flakes here. That wine is cooked down pretty good. The sausage looks nice and tender. All right, so what we're gonna do, just gonna spider strainer these in. Just make sure. You don't want to overcook the pasta because it's still going to cook in. If you get a little bit of pasta water in there, that's okay. that there to let it cool. Now we're going to mix this all together. Oh, making a mess with pasta over here. Turn that on low. Another loose noodle. Pepper. Don't really need salt because there's already a good amount of salt in there. Mm. All right, now it's time for the Parmesan. Even layer. Mix that in. And you can definitely put way more Parmesan if you want. You can add some other cheeses in there, Italian cheeses, pecorino, any of that. All right, so that's basically it. I'm gonna plate it up, a little more fresh Parmesan, nice little dollop of ricotta on top, and we're good to go. Okay guys, there it is with the dollop of ricotta on top, more fresh Parmesan on top of that, a little bit of parsley for your garnish. Bon appetit, guys. All right guys, here we go. Mm, that's amazing. So good. A piece of sausage, ricotta, pasta. Mm. Very good, guys.